All right, we head into night nine, feeling pretty good. Uh, the runners just keep coming. And then we keep blowing them up with uh, with our uh, our goodies. Let's see, so... How much poison are we dishing out? Well, 111 on you, but I think you might have gotten multi-propagated. Hey, Juan, how's it going? Have you, uh, have you tried your hand at the, uh, at the last spell's new update that came out today? That is, uh, that is certainly what we're getting up to at the moment. We have not seen the sea monster yet, uh, but soon that will be happening. All right, we'll move back to behind this box. These indestructible boxes on Lakeburg are uh, nothing to sneeze at. All right, and then it is time for the propagation to unleash its full power. Wow, I think that, that worked out just about perfectly. Oh, nice. Well, I am... Uh, I'm putting it through my, through its paces, as is uh, as is tradition. So far, uh, so far, so good. So far, we aren't seeing anything new. I knew I shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have trusted it. All right, nobody's nobody's coming in at the moment, so that's all good. But that side is a uh, is potentially a little dicey. Let's see what let's see what things look like over here. I wish Scorching Wave was a. Uh, oh, that was a big Scorching Wave. Let the uh, let the record show. Now we can with Bully we can force a momentum crit here, right? Yes. Okay, I like that. A little bit of a, a little bit of a weird delay there. Uh, now let's see. If we're here, we're within three, which means the overkill damage should have worked there. Okay, seventy-seven. Kind of, uh, kind of underwhelming. Okay, and then. So I think you're going to be relatively okay. We may want to transfer someone up here just because this. The side went a little less than optimally, but <laughs> oh, that's annoying. I didn't realize there were archers up in this piece. I think probably if I had paid even the tiniest bit of attention, I would have uh, I would have known one, two, one, one there, one there, one there. All right, let's see how we do with that. There's just there's just something so satisfying about uh, about Blaze. Not necessarily not necessarily the most fun, but I think I'm gonna come I think I can come all the way over to here and probably yeah still. Still do some cleanup on the back end over here. Now, over here. We need some skill range on... Uh, on Wanda. Don't really want to go any further. Yeah, I know, Void. I I want I want that nerf too, 
because uh, it's just so... It becomes such a dominant strategy. Okay, that's nice and clean. Okay, has everybody... Everybody done your thing? Yeah, it looks like it. I think it's it's so it's so difficult to imagine what they could do because the the issue is is really that the the combination of multi-hit and propagate is just so incredibly potent. Okay, let's see. Let's uh let's get some visibility here. Well, that's not a very good That was better. So let's say if we put this here, then the scorching wave should absolutely destroy people. The the way that now uh, the that delay from I think it's from contagion. That's the thing that is causing the. Uh, the delay in things dying is is just kind of humorous. Uh, okay, we'll let that guy, we will spare that guy for the moment. But yeah, I think it's going to be really hard because multi-hit plus propagate, if you can increase them, is just going to make the itemization that much more important, right? P you know, you're just going to be like, even if they made it, uh, the hand crossbows blaze one, one multi hit, uh, and one propagate, like it's still so strong, people would absolutely build towards it, uh, and and they would still find the same kind of like top end success. I feel like that's that's my concern. Uh, so Lucas, I am I I am pulling the first game off of the uh, the Discord uh, new games list. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be playing with uh, Dwerve, which is a like roguelite tower defense type game. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what that's all about. That's uh, that's the next game that's kind of on the list. But uh, but I'm I'm keeping my eye peeled, for sure, and very interesting to see what else uh, what else shows up. Uh, there's a game that I absolutely want to play, but uh, my computer is not fast enough. Uh, and this is this is a sad statement. But my computer is a little old, and I don't think it's going to be able to stream the game. Uh, uh, while also while also uh, playing the game, and that is uh, Hard Space Shipbreakers, um, which is a game that I've known about for a long time, but the 1.0 release just came out, and it's this kind of, like, meditative... Uh, it's hard to explain. Like, you, you basically, you disassemble derelict ships in, in a space dock. <laughs> um, you have, like, a laser thingy that... That does uh, that cuts it into pieces. It's like this 3D floaty game. It's very it's very beautiful. Uh, the game is very easy on the eyes, and uh, it is it is just extremely my type of game because it just seems like it would be so calming to like perfectly disassemble a ship. Uh, so I want to play that, but it uh, it's a little graphically intensive, and its uh, its system requirements basically are. Its minimum system requirements are the specs of my current PC. So I will need to uh, to upgrade, which I'm planning to do uh, this coming year once I uh, once the new uh, Ryzen 7 series CPUs come out. It is uh, it is part of the plan. But uh, but for now I do not have uh, do not have what it takes, unfortunately. At least not to play it in a way that would be 
uh, enjoyable to watch, <laughs> I guess, is the is the problem. So I want to check. This is a guaranteed crit. That's a, that's not a that's nothing to sneeze at. And then I think I'm probably gonna just take you out. I do like bully for exactly that reason. It is fun. It's fun to get guaranteed crits. Oh, Aquaman, nice. I I will be playing it on Thursday. Uh my the primary thing that I have to do tonight is I have to make a thumbnail for it. Uh, I do not have a thumbnail for Dwerve yet, uh, so that's gonna be that's gonna be on the list. All right, that night went swimmingly, but uh, but yeah, it looks it looks cool, uh, and uh, and it got some interest in the game recommendations section of my Discord, which I will take a moment, since I think there are a few people lurking around, to uh, to promote it. Uh, so I have a Discord. It's a place where we talk about strategy games and, and the games that we play, and we also have a cool community. People share pictures of their dogs, all that good stuff. And, uh, and most importantly, it is a place where you can suggest games that you think I might enjoy. And then there is a voting system that will be ever increasingly... Uh, improved over time so if that is at all interesting to you i would encourage anyone who is uh lurking or hanging out to uh to maybe think about joining the discord and saying hey i would enjoy that very much so it's a good community and we are doing our best to keep it very inclusive and friendly so uh if you are not interested in creating an inclusive friendly community then maybe don't join <laughs> Uh, but that's about the only limitation. Oh, so so Dwerve gets particularly difficult later on. That's great. Uh, that is very exciting. So let's see. I think it is time. We have one more recruit to get. We have Abigail. Tell me more about yourself, Abigail. You are a blood mage. Why do blood mages have less hit points? Seems weird. Uh, cold-hearted and tall. You're pretty good. I could see us doing something with you. Uh, and I don't... I, I like the idea of getting someone who's level 9. How close are we to the end of this? Three nights? We could hold out a little bit for just the right person. Because I kind of want a... The, the person that I want, I think it would be fun to have another melee. So, I could swap her to melee. Blood Mage would be wasted then. But yes, level 9 is just good, of course. Uh, and, and also 8% crit. Let's, uh, let's pick up Abigail. Yes, they are. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's actually interesting, Shyness. I hadn't noticed that. But yeah, 319 gold is staggeringly expensive for a level nine character that may be part of uh there's been some discussions on the discord speaking of the discord in the last spell channel about the fact that there was a strategy where you kill your your people you kill two of your three first people and then power level to the in with one person getting all of the experience from the waves and you can get insane levels for characters that way it's it feels a bit exploity uh but uh uh, Melody in the Discord has been talking to me about it, and it is interesting. All right, let's see. Let's do let's do our easy level ups here. A little range damage and some accuracy is good. For you, Big Game Hunter is so good with hand crossbows. But Legendary Assassin is also pretty great, especially with a longbow. Let's go with Legendary Assassin first to get some refunding going. And then Nils. Big range damage bump. And, 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 and. I guess they want Nils to never miss. I, I can't be too mad. Nils is not critting that much. Uh, to make to make Critmaster feel too 
interesting. Explosive Essence for hand crossbows is exceptionally good. Get those big, those big damage hits in. Let's see what we're getting for gear. This is about, this is about as bad as it gets. Let's just use our reroll before I forget about it. Nasal helm. Nils, what's your helmet right now? You have you have that, which is reasonably good. And then you have that. Those are both pretty good. So the range damage is not going to be that interesting. Durand. Eh, I mean this is This is better than nothing for Durand. Well, the Worn Greaves are just a ton of crit, and I feel like our pants are particularly weak at the moment. Yeah. Let's grab, let's grab the Heavy Greaves just for the 9 crit. Mithril Shortbow, not that interesting. Wooden Rifle, not that interesting. Okay. Wow, somehow the Mithril Shortbow is more expensive than the Wooden Rifle. But yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if they increased the cost of heroes to try and make that, uh, that strategy prohibitive. There's no more relation between hero prices and number of members in your party. And yes, they made the higher level heroes more expensive. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, Durand. Oh, this is a much better chest piece for Durand. I, I think that's smart, though. Uh, but yeah, that was a lot of sticker shock having uh, 900 uh, or 300 and something gold for a level 9 uh, character is pretty, uh, pretty pricey. This dagger is really nice. Um, I wish, I wish we had a dagger person, but uh, but no no such luck. What's uh what's Ulysses rocking right now? Oh yeah, this is a that's a nice get. Ooh, better better staff for Durand. No, I don't think so. Better Scepter, no, no. Those are all trash, I think. And then our Knight Reward is also garbage. All right, let's, uh, let's see. What are we actually keeping of this stuff? The Warren Greaves, I said I did want to keep. The Mithril Shortbone, no. The Fur Armor, yes. A sledgehammer, yes, and then none of these. Is this, which does mean we'll get the the production upgrade. It looks like, which is pretty good. So Durand gets new pants. Nope, no. Durand's getting that. There we go. Ulysses getting a new hammer, and someone is getting new pants. Nils, crit pants. You can buy rerolls for night rewards. So, so Bruno, have uh, have you gotten far enough to the point where you have more rerolls available? I have two things locked in the Tainted Essence that uh, are not available to me that I presume are the reroll upgrades. Uh, okay, now Abigail, we haven't done your perks. Do we want to make Abigail a melee character? And just say that Blood Mage isn't that worth it. Let's see, what are your what do your perks look like? You have Harvester, you have Berserk, you have Vampirism, you have Blood Magic, you have Organic Armor. We could go for like a Blood Mage build. It doesn't have Execute. We could also try that spiky counter build if we wanted to. Just go full block. Uh and just see what we come up with. But that's a little gear dependent, and I'm not sure we're going to have it. Oh, make her the spiky girl because she has tall? Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let's see what we can do, all right? So, let's see. So, we're going to want we're going to want lots of armor, right? So, coagulation and back protection are going to be pretty sweet. I think we'll want harvester too. Uh We always want harvester. Then spiky counter. And probably coagulation, so we can get her in the middle of stuff. Well, oh yeah, we don't want dodge, so not nimbleness. We 
do we do we want to go blood mage vampirism though that seems like it would be relatively strong no mana shield no we'll, we'll go coagulation So so let me let me show you this in a second, Bruno, because I've been checking out. I want to go blood magic though. I, I like blood magic. We'll go organic armor. And human ballista. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. And then uh clearly berserk, because we're gonna be getting hit a lot. Okay, so now we are going to now does block I forget, is block a second? No, it's a primary attribute. So we're going to be rolling here for it. It's hard not to take those move points. Like we'll take one, one hit of those. Uh, but we'll take block. Nice. 40 armor is a bunch of health for us, right? That's probably also good. We're get we're not getting a lot of uh and there's our new Nico. I don't know if I want to I think I want to keep rolling here. More block is better, I think. I'll get a blue health though. Just get us uh get us nice and tanky. You don't get that much block out of uh, out of those. All right. So now let's see. So given the setup that we're going for, what are the secondaries that we're interested in? Daily health regen is going to give us more resistance is good too. Okay, that's good to know. Uh does accuracy matter at all? I feel like it doesn't. Okay, so we could have gone physical damage too. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, we'll see. I, I think we're gonna scale up over the over the course of the night as well. Now healing received doesn't do us much good, I don't think. Skill range is always useful. No, no poison tree, unfortunately. Uh, she had the assassination defense trees. Just going to get some accuracy. What is going on with this tooltip right now? Let's see. This will be an interesting experiment. <laughs> probably, probably not much more than that. I feel like we're not getting very interesting abilities here. Okay, well, we have a pretty large health pool. Uh, we're going to need to stack a lot of blocks. So let's get into the shop and start working on that. Uh, Night Shield is a good start, even though we miss out on the crit. Uh, Night Armor is also good. Steel Helm is a good one. Paladin Grease plus five. Let's see, we want we want less dodge, right? There was one one of the turtle charms is going to provide us less dodge potentially. Uh, we do need weapons too, though. I should be a little aware of that. I'm going to roll this once, I think, at least. Oh, even better Paladin Shield. Ah, the Night Shield with 14 block, I think, is pretty solid here. I like the offhand sword. Uh, no, because I want... Uh, I want to be able to move around. Offhand hammer, not that interesting. I like the idea of a dagger build to take out kind of the remaining things. So I'll pick this up 
And then actually let's uh we have workers still to spend. So let's uh let's get them going. We're gonna do armor and weapons. Mithril sword, sword. Probably it's gonna be the sword of these. Rusty spear isn't bad either. Yeah, I think dagger. I think dagger will be good because it means that we have space for two shields, right? Battle mage armor. Got some block on these pants, which I think are better than nothing. Block crit physical with this build. Okay. Yeah, I'm relatively new to this build, so uh, we don't need a second shield because I think we can get a second shield. Let's grab that. So I forgot we get we get two shields, so we should pick this up as well. Uh, that can get sold. And then these are better than these. So let's uh, let's see what where Abigail ends up once we uh, once we kit her out a little bit. None of these weapons are particularly incredible, but uh, we need a better trinket for sure. Not that the Fey amulet is uh, is terrible, but we're up to 81 block. That's not bad. Base damage to 182 at the moment. Oh no, 242. That's not bad. So we need a we need a trinket for sure. We don't want dodge, so these trinkets are not good. Let's uh let's roll it again. Now we have more we have more workers, but they would be going uh we already spent them there. We can't push back, right? No. So I'll put one into the magic shop, I guess. See if we can get anything interesting out of this. Nope. Looks like uh, just more selling fodder. And then we'll roll again. There's another knight shield here. I don't. I don't think I want two of those. Ooh, this master's orb though is so juicy for uh, for Durand. Yeah, with 34 poison, we'll pick that up. Haven't found the shell that uh, that ruins dodge yet. <laughs> still, still looking. Uh, but yeah, Durand. This is a this is big for Durand, even though it comes at the cost of thirteen mana regen. We don't really care. And thirty four poison puts Durand. Oh, Durand didn't level. Ugh, how close is Durand to leveling? Eh, decently close. We got to get Durand some kills. So let's see. So it's mainly we're fishing for a trinket with block on it, is my understanding. Okay, let's roll again. Oh, the spiked helm. That is up there with... This, this is definitely better than the steel helm eh, but it's it's kind of moderately better it's not uh earth shatteringly better i think the leather cape is nice i would pick up a plus five triple swipe scroll for abigail also uh, I might actually try and sell a little something to see if we could come up with that. Because that's good to have in your hip pocket, since Abigail is rocking... Doesn't have a lot of AoE. How much do we need to come up with for that? Eight gold. I can probably find eight gold, right? My gold mine. <laughs> I was looking to see if there was a uh, a well that we could uh, that we could utilize, but doesn't look like it. 
So we would have to sell something. I'm sure I'm sure one of our characters has a terrible trinket. Uh, that's actually pretty good. That's good. The Baron Cape is kind of meh. We've had this forever. Ulysses, one movement point, 25 armor. Oh, the 25 armor could be, uh, could be critical. <laughs> oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, who cares about these heavy greaves? Does that even get us there? No. We still need a little more. <laughs> we still need three more. And right now we are uh we are pantsless on uh on our poison our poison spitter. Uh it's okay though. So let's see. So one more one more thing just needs to get uh get jettisoned. No, that's part of her shtick. Two accuracy, 15 armor. I mean, the, the skill range is... We have a lot of skill range, though. I think we can afford to do that for a triple swipe scroll for Abigail. Okay. Give her a little bit of that. And then next turn, we really need to focus on... Are we getting it from all four sides? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, let's use our let's use our guess where to figure out which are our small waves. Okay, let's put let's put Abigail on her own. We'll put Nils over here. I, I think like we're just gonna be way overpowered right now. I, I wanna put Abigail over here as like a test, but this is gonna be uh we have way too much firepower going into this night. Yeah, getting her way up there. Let's see. This is how far? Wait, wait. Oh, this is a bug. <laughs> you can place people in the fog now. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, all right. I, I'm not going to put her in the fog for fear of her just instantly being decimated. But I think... I think this will be fine, and then we have you here. She can back up just in case Abigail can't uh, can't hack it. Oh yeah, and then I guess we uh, we should do some some wall improvements. I haven't gone very hard on catapults or anything like that, but we've got a wall. Unclear if I should be prepping for uh, for Nessie or anything like that, but we'll uh, we'll see. I'll save save the rest. Placing a unit in the fog gives you an auto win. Well, that doesn't sound very sporting, so let's uh, let's not do that strictly because it uh, sounds cheaty. Let's uh. Let's get this party started. All right, Abigail is a thorny girl. Let's see how this goes. We do have archers, so. <laughs> that's, that's kind of humorous. Okay, I like it. Now this is this is always the problem from my perspective. Uh, is that she she can do her thing, and all is all is well and good. But many of the baddies will not uh, will not pay attention to her. So that's a little unfortunate. Like these uh, these runners are just going to run right on by. <laughs> yeah, I, I I enjoyed that very much, Juan. Uh, that is uh, that is courtesy of uh, of Voight, who has been giving us some uh, some very uh, some very interesting pointers. This was uh, this was a build that that Voight did once that I super uh, super appreciate them sharing with us. 
Okay, so I'm glad I'm glad I have a little extra reinforcement over here because it appears that we're gonna need it. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, and then how far forward do I have to walk to kill this archer? So yeah, so these, the runners are going to keep on running, which is a little unfortunate. Let's see. So over here. Yeah, Void, with the, with the, with the poisonous, it would be, uh, it would be pretty, uh, elaborate and hilarious. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not very good. Okay, that's not very many people. It takes them so long to die. Uh, okay, let's see now. This is the first night where I'm kind of feeling like there's a... Like we're not going to clear everything out right off the bat. Yeah, we're starting to hit some uh, hit some unfortunate breakpoints. Who would have thunk it? Now, does Spiky counter uh, proc when you have uh, when you are stunned. Okay, this is just going to be a slaughter. Uh, because that's the, the other thing that I would be worried about is bulkies just absolutely uh, wrecking everything. Well, I'm, I'm super excited because I feel like the number of hits that we just took, like what's our damage multiplier already at from... Uh, from Berserk. We're already at plus 24% damage. Um, we could technically do that. I don't know. I, I wonder if we're going to have a hard time recouping. Nah, I'll save that for later. I think most of those are going to end up killing themselves. Okay. Okay, you're good. You're good. Nils, step behind the box, my friend. Not that there's any cover. And then let's see what... No, I want to see you down here. Oh my gosh. The... <laughs> yeah, none, none of the archers went after... Uh... When after Abigail, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a problem over here because of that, I think. Uh, let's see. Like we have we have a good setup for this, but we just we don't get any of the extras. Uh, oh, actually, this is nice. Should have uh, should have used dash, I think, for that. Uh, now, how are we gonna get this guy dead? Yeah, that this is gonna be a this is gonna be a little messy. Uh, let's see. Let's get let's get our poison cooking. Ooh, that was a that was not a very impressive poison propagate. All right, we're getting. We're getting some bad poison procs. I think we're going to have to have you come back like this. To here to get that one out of the way. <laughs> you love cooking poison doodle? 
That uh, remind me never to accept any cookies from you. <laughs> Let's see, so I think... Let's see... All these, uh... All these runners. This has been like the all- the all runners show. This, uh, this particular run. Okay, let's see. Um... Is this just a kill? Yeah. Get out of here. Very good at cooking... Cooking normal things or cooking poison, though, Doodle? You have to be, uh... You have to be very specific here. This is, uh, this is important. Uh, important clarifications are required. <laughs> okay, we'll use one of our movement potions there, and then... Let's see, what... Okay, that's all we got there. And then Nils. Nils only has one mode, and it is hit all the things. That was that was so close to a perfect distribution there. There we go. Over here. Can't really do much of anything with that. We do have snipe shot. Eh, might as well. Okay, nobody's coming in, so I think we're I think we're good, and then hopefully Abigail is going to uh keep everybody's attention focused on her. The uh, human uh, human ballista is a little annoying at at turn start. Okay, that was half of our poison caster's life lost in a single attack. This is what I'm saying about the the late uh, the late archers are really scary. So we're gonna have to retreat a little bit here. Get you roasted, and then, yeah, I think we just, we just retreat. We got, we got extra blazes in our hip pocket here, although I want to be a little careful that I don't blaze too many of the poison things, because I want to make sure that our poison caster continues to level up, because we got to get to that max level. We definitely did a bit of kill stealing there. And then I want this to just die. That's fine. It's going to be okay. Yeah, don't love that we lost half of our... Uh... Basically half our health on our on our poison character in a single in a single go. Uh, let's see. This looks like. Yep, good for business. Dear accuracy. Yeah, it's it's just really hard to get Abigail in a position where where she's going to get hit, uh, it seems. Like, that first round was absolutely inspired, but 
uh, since then, less, less inspired. I uh, get you. Meanwhile, Nils is just over here, lining them up and knocking them down. Yeah, Nils, I don't think, has dropped below 5 AP in any given uh, any given moment. And over here, we're actually struggling just a little bit. Uh, Further up on subsequent turns, we'll come to you either way. I mean, that's what I've been trying to do, uh, I think, uh, with with our current setup. And it's just been a little awkward because, you know, I, I've kind of retreated her slowly, right? She's all the way up here now. But, like, a lot of the enemies just seem to be making a beeline past her. Um, Got three actions left. No, we're not gonna get not gonna get any goods there. Uh, I will I will go a little deep. Since we have we have the move potion, we might as well use it. <laughs> Shyness, there is there is a certain irony to to the fact that they they look at it and they're like you know hand crossbows we think they're okay because uh, they are a little busted. Human ballista also uh, potentially uh, yeah. The problem is everything is dying to human ballista before it gets a chance to hit her, uh, also. Good thing we didn't make her totally a one-trick pony, right? Nils, Nils is like, what am I, a farmer here? You're, you're literally going to make me, uh... You're going to make me actually kill things without using my hand crossbow? Got him. All right. Let's see. So we can have we can have some of the cleanup get done with the with the with this. Let's get you out. This guy's trying to do the end run around. You don't like to see it. Yeah, we definitely need more propagation bounces on our poison user. Uh, we can't. This is as far as we can go. So please go backwards, not forwards. All right. Well, it did it did do what I asked, but soften these fools up. Yeah, but I mean, if they die, they die, right? I I agree with you from the perspective that you know, maybe we could have had more impressive spike turns, but, you know, if human ballista is killing things before they hit us, that's probably not a bad thing. Okay, I'm going to start with this, I think. All right, good enough, and then... We are at 39% uh, damage from Berserk. That's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty decent. I feel like. Now over here. Oh yeah, we're just we're just going in. We're just going in.
Yeah, we should probably consider that more often. That was a pretty, uh, a pretty solid result there. Starting with stunning entrance seemed, uh, seemed good. Ooh, bad breakpoint there. There we go. Nils is basically all done. You have you have a lot of movement, so let's just let's just move up and uh, and blaze. Even though we're not going to get the initiator proc, I think it's probably fine. It is bad for Berserk. You are absolutely correct. Uh, that is a that is a a true and factual statement. This guy better turn around and shoot us. I'm going to be so annoyed if, if it doesn't. Ha! Take that! Spiky counter go. Yeah, it's it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely bad for Berserk. But Abigail's leaving full health, which I think is pretty, uh, pretty nice. Now, over here... Please go backwards. Oh, listened to me. Oh, and this guy got poisoned even though I didn't see the propagate go that way. That must have been contagion proccing. Wait, this guy, this guy's like, what, one hit point away? No, slightly more, but there we go. Okay, all good there. Nils is already done. Uh, Gonna give gonna give the kills to Ulysses because I feel like he's had a rough go. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Night over. Let's hope that the sea monster is uh is hard countered by high block spiky characters. <laughs> that's uh that's that's what we're dreaming of. Okay, so we have Whoops. We'll do those. We have the pushback. We get the guess where, which I think is just everywhere medium. Nope, not everywhere medium. Just kidding. Let's see what our level ups look like. We get a second top tier perk for Ulysses. We could pick up mana collector so that we could really start uh, firing off. Yeah, I think we go Mana Collector because we didn't have Harvester. So this will allow us to spend mana more aggressively. I, I will check it out in one second, Void. Uh, that, is, that is a good call. I am very curious. And we'll grab some Deli Mana Regen. That was kind of a bust. Uh, where, where, is, where is Abigail? Damage blocked, 1,134. Best blow, 1,400. Not bad. Not bad, Abigail. Not bad at all. Shiara gets a big crit bump. Like to see that. And... Eh, we'll take some stun chance, but that was a, a bit of a bust. We already picked up Legendary Assassin. I really like Big Game Hunter on our hand crossbows for, uh, for large health targets. Magic damage, yes please, and let's keep pumping up that crit power. We have guaranteed crits, so I think it's, uh, it is good for business. Now on this one, we're not dodging a crazy amount. I don't think Hex getting stronger is that useful, so I think it is Mana Collector. I don't think Volatile is that useful. Blink is really good, but I think it's Mana Collector. Durand, Durand, Durand. Exactly, exactly, Shyness. That is, uh, that's the stuff. All right, we did not get, we'll get some mana regen, but we did not get a poison bump, which is uh, a bummer. I'll take the movement. 
We were a little lacking on movement. We'll take po po potent toxins, potent potables. There we go. Okay, so our production tab is looking pretty, uh, pretty healthy, if I do say so myself. Whoops, accidentally picked this, but... None of these are better than... Oh, that's another... Actually, that's another thing. Abigail has the knight armor. Yeah, which is 13 block. Okay, so she has just better. We'll grab trinkets uh, of these things, I think. Uh, 16, 20. Yeah, okay, we'll just grab that for selling purposes. That could have been the one that we rolled, but... These are all trash. Let's roll this one. That's, I think that's totally true, uh, Void. I actually think that might be uh, a good solution to, uh, like, maybe it shouldn't belong in that tab. Maybe, because I find the, the ranged ones to be a little underwhelming. And maybe if Boom was a top-tier ranged one, that could be interesting. Someone could get a lot of crit and damage out of this. We might That might be an upgrade for someone. Swift Boots is a little late for those, I think. Someone has a short bow. Who's rocking the short bow? Is it Nils? Yeah, Mithril short bow is better. Ooh, improved dagger? Oh, an adamantium sword, though, is too good not to give to Abigail. Well, let me just compare that really quickly. Uh, Abigail is going to be... Oh, the Mithril Sword with skill range is really good. This dagger is definitely an improvement, especially with the 30 HP. I don't think the extra AP is that important to us. Uh, no, I think I think it is. Well, no, I think the skill range is very important to us, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, nothing beats multi-hit is a true statement. Let's grab that. It's going to be, I think, uh, is this better for Ulysses? Ulysses, what are you rocking right now? Yeah, I like this for Ulysses. Ulysses gets to uh, ascend to their final form. Then we picked up the knight's armor, which is not interesting. Abigail does get the better dagger. That gets sold. And then I feel like the scale armor is almost better for someone. Like, is 9% range damage better than 11% crit and 8% damage? No. Nils had the worst, uh, the worst one of... Eh, we'll do that. There we go. No, I yeah, I don't think I don't think the HP is worth all that much. I I totally agree. All right, so we'll sell all that. We're at nine hundred gold, and have we? We've already pushed back. We've already done that. Have we done our final upgrade here? No. Let's do our final upgrade to those, and then we should we should increase our one of our houses to max again. So we get six, and then we'll do a melee weapon, an armor, and an armor, I think. We're looking for trinkets, though, mostly. These ain't it. Ah, the sledge plus five might be good for Ulysses. That is a big damage increase, isn't it? Yeah. As, as much as it is like a gray weapon, it is totally an improvement. Those elven boots are almost a guaranteed take. We're, we're lacking trinkets right now. Ooh, the Step Hunter's Hood. 18% range damage. Holy cow. Uh, we like the propagation, though. 
We like the multi-hit. So yeah, as sad as it is, that is not going to be the play. I'm going to pick up the cursed pants for Durand, who is wearing no pants and likes isolation. Now, who gets an action point and health and movement? She needs movement, so we'll do that. Toss that there and then sell that there. Now, back to the search for trinkets. Not seeing any right now, so let's let's roll it. Ooh. Arch Druid Staff, I think, is at plus four is gonna be an improvement for Durand. Yeah, just an extra action point. It's good stuff. Is this just this is might be an improvement for Nils? No, he already has a, a tier four one. Not that they make that big a difference. Ooh, the life turtle charm. I think Abigail is a bit... Oh, she just got the sturdy elven boots. Does she have two slots, though? No, we did not pick up runic power on her. We can move this around just to get that block a little higher. That might be a play. Prophet Veil is good. For 8 block, I don't think it's worth it. She has 6% dodge now. What have I done? Hold on. We will we will correct this error. Abigail. What Was that from this? Oh, this is from dodge. Test, test. Okay, so we will pick up that... Uh, we will pick up this. And we will find someone else to take the uh, the extra action point. There we go. Oh yeah, Ulysses can take it and has, is miss, still missing one trinket entirely. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can just find Ulysses any other trinket. Another action point and skill range. Okay, that seems up his alley roll it again not even sure what we're looking for anymore if I'm being honest 10% magic damage two propagation bounces I want this for Durand I think we lose a bit of poison damage but two propagation bounces is big Oh, and Durand has two trinkets. That's nice. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't like losing the skill range, but I think that's worth it. Okay. Let's uh let's do some quick stone wall enhancements, I guess. Can we we can put gates at all of those spots, right? And then, and then make sure that like our mounted ballista setup is just. Oh, we could do seasoned operators too. Maybe we'll do all seasoned operators next time, because we just have a staggering amount of uh, of ballistas. But didn't there used to be a limit on the number of ballistas that you could have? I know there's a limit on the number of catapults you can have, but I want to be a little careful because you can you can create like places you can't get around or get out of quite easily. But uh, yeah, okay, I think that's good enough. Oh, actually, wait, let's uh, repair. Nothing needs repairs. Okay. Oh, Durand though needs repairs. I, I expected Durand to heal up a bit more. Uh, we're going to have to be a little careful about that. Because I don't think we're... We're not getting a health potion at this point. Okay, well, we will we will endeavor to be careful. I 
should probably place people, shouldn't I? Uh, I'm going to put you on a small wave. You two were a decent crew over here. Nils, I think, can take this on themselves. And then maybe we, maybe we do a little swap like this and we give we put our casters together like that. Putting Nils on a medium wave by himself seems a little a little spicy. So maybe we'll do Let's see. Maybe these two just weren't working as a team very well. That was my concern. So we'll put I'll put Nils down here with you. You solo a small wave, you solo a small wave. All right. Uh, actually, then I think we split. We swap these two, and we just have... I'm going to put Abigail on a big wave. I think that's a good idea. And then I'll put, like, Wanda kind of over here, and we can see how Nils is doing.